Hey, hi. Um, no lie, I've tried doing this video like six times now, but my camera keeps messing up. Um, so we're running it through OBS now. Um, downside, uh, the camera itself looks worse. Upside, I guess I got a cool layout to use. So hey, um, but yeah, I have been meaning to make a video for a while about this, the pedal rig that I used a lot for so much stuff. Um, it's all over Pure Staircase. There's like next to nothing that isn't put through this on Pure Staircase. Um, but even more than being an effect rig, it is a standalone instrument that just needs feedback to be playable. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot, a lot of wires up here. Um, a lot of wires everywhere, so there's some explaining to do. So I'm going to try to do that. Let's see if I can do it. Um, <laughs> so, um, any mixer will do. I'm just using some crappy... Behringer, Behringer, whatever the fuck, mixers, um, and this little guy up here is just routing the sound to different, I call them islands of pedals, we have the, the modulation island, the distortion island, the space island, the, uh, shape island, the texture island, and what, it's just something else down here, um, and each island serves a certain purpose and has a set of pedals in an order where that order of the pedals is unchanging but the orders of the islands are not um so each island serves a purpose and has like one thing that it does but that island can do it at any point in the you know in the process thanks to this little guy routing those islands together so let's uh let's do a quick rundown here um let's start by yanking There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, here's my input. So this is just where the sound comes in. And I'm going to send it right out to space, the space island, because the space island is where it comes out to the mixer, because this guy is a stereo reverb, um, and nothing else here is stereo, so it just has to come last. So here's the reverb, uh, sorry, here's um the, uh, eh, what do you, uh, <laughs> the feedback. Here, here's just the raw feedback going in and out here. That's it. Um, it's feedback. It's nothing special. Um, but when you start putting, like, putting it through things, like let's use the mod island. Because up there we have um, the electro harmonics blurst, which is fantastic, like low pass uh, filter, nice and resonant, doesn't go too high, it's a very like low, low pass filter, um, and I've got an expression pedal down there to control it, um, got uh, the Nux Mod Core, which is a re real shit, just digital <laughs> modulation pedal, it's just got phasers, flanges, all your basic shit, um, and down here we have the Behringer Tremolo, Ultra Tremolo, by the way, Behringer sucks, don't fucking buy their stuff, <laughs> but anyways, um, I just happen to have a lot, uh, such as needing your gear to be cheap, I guess, but, um, so again, here's actually a great point to point out, um, now listen to the feedback. Something's changed, it sounds a little different, so why is that? I didn't realize that was turned on, actually. Now listen to it. It's higher than it was before, and well, there was lower, but of course, because the low pass, but... And the reason it's higher is because it's running through more wires and more circuits and the signal's becoming weaker. Weaker, faster, like, weaker signals are generally like hissier and hissier is more high frequency, and that means you'll get a higher tone out of it. A very strong signal will just be like, you know, really low sound, like, that just means it's loud and it's big. <laughs> um, so that's just the feedback, but let's put this guy on. So that's controlling it with the foot pedal, and let's hear the mod core. Really unpleasant, right? But you combine the two. So we're starting to get some really in, like kind of gross, hideous, expressive sounds out of those two. And this is just like a gate, kind of. Like, imagine it as, like, a gate. So, um, yeah, each of the islands kind of serves a purpose in, insofar as, like, restructuring the sound. 
For Distortion, we have an Ultra Metal and a Catlin Bread Teaser Stallion, which is a super, super nasty, um, like, feedback oscillator distortion. So, so heavy. Um, I guess I'll show you. I guess I'll show you. I don't know whether to show you what they all sound like on their own or what. But. So, yeah. That's without feedback, by the way. And combined with this. So a lot of texture coming out of those guys, um, which is funny because that's not even the texture island. But after that, we've got the shape island. So there's just the uh, feedback again. You can see it's still changing like crazy. Um, oh, it's because I've got this turned on, but that's what I want to get to anyways. So here's just the feedback again. A little higher still, still and it's like softer. Uh, the equalizer up there, um, that lets me single out parts of the sound to let through, so I'll turn it on and feedback. I would like to get um, an equalizer with more bands to replace that because I do want more and more musical control over it. Um, so we'll see what I do about that. Um, Alter shifter, it's a pitch shifter, it does weird fucking things in a feedback loop. Very fun. Um, and then we have the awesome Earthquaker Devices Organizer, which makes your makes everything sound like organs. It's pretty much an octaver that goes both up and down, and has built-in lag and unison effects um, to give it just like this huge sound. You, it, it's like with just the feedback, it's not the most incredible thing, but you get an idea. Like. You can hear that organ tone, and when you combine it with the equalizer to let only certain parts through. Pretty cool. Um, down here, these guys don't really play well on their own. They're more for manipulating and capturing other sound. Um, the Chase Bliss Mood is both a looper, kind of. It's, it only captures very small blocks of audio that you don't really full, have full control over. Um, and also has an awesome delay and reverb and weird glitchy stuff. You can control like the clock of the CPU. It's really cool. Um, the Dwarfcraft Grazer um, is a granular sample slicer, I think they call it. Um, it does all sorts of weird shit. Um, it, yeah, it chops up the sound real good. Where's that? Where's the feedback? Have I done something goofball? Oh, I totally have. Wrong way. Okay. So there's the feedback. Here it is with this guy. Really cool, really weird. Um, the Earthquaker Devices Rainbow Machine is like if you took the feedback from this guy, like that feedback effect where it just goes higher and higher, made an entire pedal out of the thing, like, <laughs> immediately. So yeah, really cool. It's um, It kind of has a different uh, sound signature, and it's definitely less metallic than this one. It's still very springy, kind of like, you know, like, you know, metal springs or a slinky, but this one has a very digital metal sound to it. Um, and then down here, this is the space, which is delay, it's shit, compressor, it's shit, and reverb, it's shit, but they all get the job done, and I'm quite a fan of this Kaleen time-space delay. It's like the cheapest delay you can buy. I love it. It's got a terrible, like, grungy sound. It's so noisy. Nobody wants this in their pedal chain unless you want it in your pedal chain. Um, I'll just turn it on here. 
I need like a sound to put through it. Um, say like, uh, I could probably just use. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll just use the, the feedback with this thing over here. And yeah, it does uh, self oscillate as well. So like, you might not hear it right now, just the way it's. Oh, here we go. Yeah, well, either way, you'll you'll hear it when I get some sound actually going through it. Um, on its own, the the reverb does some pretty interesting stuff. usually does interesting stuff. One of the things about working with feedback is that from time to time, you just won't get much out of it. Like, it just happens. Um, I guess it has something to do with the signal just like being either too loud or not amplified enough or just like sometimes it's just too clean. Stuff like that happens. Um, but yeah. Uh, there's also another input and output up there for this guy, which is the Ernie Earplugs Yam Hand. It's a feedback generator and it's completely passive. It doesn't need any power. It just takes the signal in, sends it out to whatever, as much as this knob like is set to. So it'll just send it out as many times as it wants and then brings it back and keeps it going. It's like if you took the um the feedback loop itself and added another loop inside of it. It's pretty intense. Um and I've got the Ditto Looper, which is a looper pedal that loops stuff, and the Electrophonics Freeze, which is a super cool like, well, it freezes the sound. It's neat. You'll you'll hear it um, on their own send. So I can like build something over here, send it to the looper, have it come back. You know, stuff like that. Um, so let's let's build a sound. Let's build a sound. I had a really amazing one going on in the last video I tried to record. Um, I saved it, and I'm probably gonna use it as like my everyday today or something. But yeah, you know, let's build a sound. Um, so let's go from the input. Um, immediately out to the feedback generator, which will go through. Um, do I want mod or this first mod? Or this? Let's go through shape first and then mod. I don't usually go this way, I usually go mod and then shape. And then mod out to distortion. Yeah, yeah. And then distortion out to texture, which then comes. Oh, actually, no. I want this to go back out to the little feedback box. We'll do that. And then that comes into the texture area. And then that goes out to space. Okay. So let's make a sound. So let's hear a feedback loop. It's gotten a lot higher. As you can hear now, we have everything in the mix. Okay, so let's make a thing. Um, let's just start with feedback, of course. And so we're going out here, um, yeah, here first, and then to mod, which is different for me. Um, so let's start by shaping it something around there. Um, put it through the organizer. Send it out to here. Okay, let's see what happens if we use the pitch shifter as well.
a little beefier. Um, and the mod core. <laughs> No thanks. That one's a little, always a little hard to integrate. Works good for really harsh stuff. Um, so after that, we're heading over to distortion, which we'll see. We'll see. That was kind of cool. Where'd that go? That's neat. So let's grab that with the Chase Bliss mood over here. Set it to stretch mode. Actually, let's play with the delay on it first. Okay. Okay, so let's capture this. Let's use tape mode instead, so we don't get the, the stretching. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Let's see what this guy adds. Okay, so I think I want to take this and move it to the looper so I can build something else out here. So let's send it over to the looper using the other send on the mixer. So that's saved there for when I want to reintroduce it. So now I can go back over here and play with this some more. Let's try to bring a little bit of feedback through um, to see just to see what happens here. pretty cool so we've got this sending over to this and in the feedback loop we're, we're isolating some of the frequencies of it as it comes back through the organizer which gives it that weird bubbly sound
So that's neat. So let's set, let's just like get some delay and stuff on it. said it <laughs> I forgot to like do the thing where I have it like hold the button for me um because DSLRs aren't technically allowed to like record video for more than 30 minutes because of some stupid fucking regulation because they aren't video cameras um so I use magic lantern on mine to uh keep the button held so it doesn't but I forgot anyways that's goof okay so let's get back to whatever the hell this is Okay, that's cool. So we still got that guy saved. So we can uh, we can do this. We can start with nothing over in these loopers. Just kind of do some feedback swells by adjusting the send. Going through the same chain we already had set up. That's, that's cars. So just adjusting the clock speed on this to like play with the pitch as it goes. That's pretty cool. So now we'll bring this back in um, using the send on the. We'll just like fade it in a little bit first. And then we'll start to send it over to the other uh, stuff. pitch shifter go up an octave and because it'll only be affecting the signal coming in it's not affecting this because that's later in the chain we're gonna have it affect this Thank you. 
and that little like shimmer there, that's the feedback loop on the main thing going on while this is all happening. Um, because of the pitch shifter, it, it accents the harmonics instead of like freaking out, because there's already so much going on that that's all it can really do at this point. is it was all just that so how's that <laughs> anyways yeah um there's this i hope it turned out okay good lord anyways take care have a good one and uh play around with stuff music is music is toys never forget that